Hello, uh, my name is Victor. Uh, I work for LiDAO as a DAO operational manager and on-chain manager, uh, basically. Uh, LiDAO is a family of liquid staking protocols on different net networks with a headquarter on Ethereum. Uh, and that's me. Uh, so basically, what, Lide, uh, what DAO does? DAO does decisions. Uh, DAO does decisions to govern things uh, to uh, like uh, invest in something to uh, in our case uh, to extend and advance the protocol or protocols we are working with and to help them with all the incentives all the initiatives we have to uh, carry on for the protocols to be successful uh, and most of the time like 99% of the time. Uh, DAO decisions is something which requires voting. If you have decentralized organization, you have to make sure that like, the decision is something which uh, governs a quorum, which was voted on, which was seen and participated. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, uh, like the DAO uh, is a DAO built on Aragon, uh, which has one particular fit. Like uh, at this version, we uh, have been using now uh, for like a, a year or, or so. Uh, it bundles together uh, both uh, decision making thing. So basically, your DAO has to vote to like have decision made, uh, and uh, transactions are performed by the name of the DAO, but like uh, from the DAO's uh, name, right? Uh, and uh, what we found out, kind of hard this way, uh, is that most, absolute most of what we have to do in order to push uh, protocols we work with, uh, we, we develop uh, further, uh, is most of transactions we have to do are operational ones. Either that's uh, sending rewards out uh, for different uh, liquidity pools or um, like uh, tweaking uh, protocol parameters for different actors to act, uh, to be able to just execute what they have to do. Uh, so basically, uh, those are, uh, truth to be told, pretty boring things, and mostly pre uh, like operations uh, things that, uh, which don't require the like uh, big time decision uh, most of the time. Yeah. So basically, DAO members, uh, like the DAO members, have to choose, have to choose wisely, have to. Oh, that's given. Uh, what, what, what was I about? Okay, uh, it's really hard to take. Uh, to get attention and enough attention to gather quorum to uh, have decisions which m move uh, operational uh, part of the things, and if most of uh, like what I am doing uh, is operations, I'm pretty much uh, concerned about this tough choice uh, folks have to make. Uh, so what do you do if uh, like faced with such a choice? Uh, one of the th directions where you could take is to try to uh, get DAO make less decisions. Those would be more serious ones, more like long-term ones. But what are the venues to get there? Uh, you can bundle actions, bundle decisions in one vote. vote. Uh, it's suboptimal, but for uh, we use a snapshot uh, as uh, like a second to Aragon, and we. Uh, try to uh, get DAO make decisions on snapshots, uh, which is a bit easier, like it's gasless and stuff like this. You, you know it's better uh, than me, I guess. Uh, and then execute them and bundles through Aragon votes as a transaction vehicle. Uh, you can have uh, committees, uh, which would most likely have multi-sigs and stuff like this. So basically, uh, DAO can decide and uh, dedicate a small group of people to worry about one particular thing, which like, how things scale uh, in many DAOs, in many organizations, actually. Uh, but so the caveat is uh, you give uh, those multi-seek and those like, sm smallish uh, compared to the whole DAO group of people uh, access to funds, uh, access to roles, and basically uh, quite significant power. And multi six can do a number of things, and there is uh, tough, like, uh, you would be having a tough time uh, uh, building safety nets around those and restricting the them. Basically, it's a mid-space problem mostly. Uh, you can establish sub-DAOs, which would, uh, like, the main DAO would have more control over, but to, uh, it's uh, still like a big endeavor uh, to carry on. You can try to ossify things. Uh, as I said, the like, DAO manages different protocols, uh, and for once, where, like, uh, our main one, uh, one of the main ones, right, is uh, a liquid technique for Ethereum. 
And uh, while there is no finished specs for staking, there are no withdrawals yet specced even. Uh, the merge had, hadn't happened yet. Uh, uh, we can't ossify because we know that there is a future ahead of us which we would have to adopt. So basically, that's not uh, an option for us right now. And then you can innovate. Uh, so for us, innovate it was. Uh, and so that's, uh, like, that's how we invented easy track. Drum roll, please. Uh, what is it? Uh, we've built together uh, a vehicle uh, to, uh, for uh, dedicated committees to carry on transactions on behalf of DAO, or which like, turns uh, the ship around. Uh, it's not, uh, please vote so we can carry this on. But if you don't like what we are about to do, please vote against it. That's the first part. And then uh, for us to be sane and to be safe, uh, there is uh, only so little uh, those committees can do. Uh, we, like DAO decides whether to whitelist committee to do specific thing on behalf of DAO, on behalf of DAO, like on-chain, uh, I mean on-chain execution mostly. So basically, uh, easy track mechanics allows us to decouple decision-making process from execution and from, uh, especially from operational execution which is a tough one to have uh, in your DAO, like, big time. Uh, single transactions, which uh, is a track carries on, are called motions. Uh, and, uh, like, as I said, we want, we want them to be as narrowly defined as possible uh, and as easily objectable as possible, basically. So uh, then committee, at least by the DAO, to do specific kinds of things, uh, announces uh, that it's about to do some specific thing from that white list, like a rewards committee sending the rewards to specific pool with specific amounts and, and stuff like this. Uh, DAO has uh, in current setup uh, three days to object it, and there is little uh, threshold for objection. So basically, uh, it's hard to like just buy uh, 100 uh, tokens and object and stop things. But uh, there are number, like there is number of uh, even single holders who can object things efficiently. Um, yeah, uh, and then just as a cherry on top, once the objection threshold, uh, objection time frame has elapsed, uh, anyone can execute the, mo the motion, executing on-chain transaction on behalf of DAO. Uh, most of the time, as I said, uh, that's like uh, treasury funds management or tweaking, like. Uh, so we can in protocol things, uh, which like are in protocol and uh, they're, they're operational ones. Uh, how does it work? Uh, like how good does it work? Uh, for us, it's uh, really great. Uh, we had uh, more than 140 emotions already, uh, which is more than Argon votes we had. Uh, so we like we did more things there already. Uh, which is nice. And we have four committees uh, leveraging uh, EasyTrack. We have referral program committees, which does pay out uh, through motions. We have a rewards committee, one of the like, most active ones, because uh, it manages uh, LP rewards for uh, all the networks we are in, uh, for all the pools, all the programs, and stuff like this. Uh, and so I'm like, I'm grateful we have EasyTrack because managing those every time in Aragon on chain would be like, Re really tough thing to do. Uh, we have a grant committee uh, getting funded uh, by EasyTrax, and we have node operators committee, which uh, tweaks internal params, uh, like uh, basically uh, allowing node operators to ask to use more keys once we get them those like checked uh, and know they are good, and not requiring the whole DAO to make decisions on whether just to like uh, give folks uh, the option to do they they work. Uh, that's how the UI looks. Uh, pretty, like, I like it. Uh, yeah. Uh, so basically, uh, there are two main parts of the EasyTrack mecha mechanics in LiDAO. First is uh, on-chain one, uh, and what's cool? Like, it consists of three main things. Uh, first, you have uh, like all the transactions committees are sending are EVM scripts. And we have a short list, so it's like small and short list, of the EVM script factories, which um, construct uh, the transactions to be executed uh, on behalf of DAO. Uh, then we have uh, like a bunch of things uh, to manage uh, life cycle of motions. Uh, objections, time frames, uh, all the management, uh, all the like major safety nets around them. Uh, and in general, uh, management of the EasyTrack uh, 
thing we have. Uh, and then we have a special contract which exactly executes uh, uh, compiled TVM scripts uh, on behalf of DAO uh, against like uh, Aragon DAO contracts. Uh, like uh, for our use case, we had to look only on Aragon right now. But if you would be looking into implementing something like this, uh, you would have to change only like the last part and most likely kind of start forwardly uh, to leverage the, the, these mechanics. Uh, yeah, uh, and then there is a chain part. Uh, it's not enough to just have writes or, and some smart contracts. You have to use them. Uh, so basically, we have committees, uh, uh, currently four of them. We've dedicated uh, areas, like, as I said, rewards, referrals, grant committee, and uh, not operators, like internal protocol thingy. Um, those committees should have processes. Uh, you, like, if you have committee and have uh, like, a bunch of people uh, are not as technical as developers, uh, you have to have a good process just in order to, to be sure that uh, your operations are top-notch. You don't screw anything up. It's, it's, it's really a big time for us and a big uh, ask uh, to have co like quality assurance on pro processes here. Uh, we have UIs because you don't, uh, like, it's hard to make operations only through Etherscan or Brownie scripts. Uh, and then we have as a safety net and as a vehicle to help us uh, carry on. Uh, we have a bunch of bots checking out uh, whether the motions are valid in some case, in some sense. Uh, and then we have alerts uh, which show the active motions uh, to the DAO, uh, basically saying, okay, folks, these guys are trying to do that, 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 uh, and those things. Please check those out uh, and object if you don't think it's okay. And we want this, uh, and we want this safety net uh, to be around. And uh, as, as any safety mechanics, uh, uh, it uh, starts and stops with free, uh, real people and it works in the mixed space first. Uh, so, that's a weak, uh, like, we have, uh, uh, any, any governance actions are re really scary and risky. If you, up, like, uh, if you update your voting with any, any small change, but screw it somehow over, you can break your DAO. And, wow, uh, that, that, that's come uh, pretty easily, but that's a really scary thing to do. Uh, if you, like, DAOs manage funds, DAO, DAOs manage uh, on-chain products, and uh, unreversible nature of it uh, should be scary. Uh, making things opt out, and we just do uh, what you've allowed us to do, I think, is doubly so. Just because uh, you, like, you know your committee, you, like, you trust your committees are doing good, but you want to have any kind of safety uh, net and safety measures installed uh, to be sure that, like, even if there are CFOs, you can weed them out. You, you can stop whatever they are doing. Uh, so we are focusing on safety big time. Uh, before the release, we focused on uh, making motion, like making sure that motions are easy to object, uh, just to stop it. Uh, we have limits on any uh, parameters in the mechanics. We have minimal uh, time frame, like uh, no motions in our setup uh, on, on a smart contract level uh, can um, uh, be set up to run le for, for less than two, year, uh, two days. Uh, there is uh, limits on uh, maximal um, objection threshold and stuff like this, stuff like this, and stuff like this. We have emergency breaks built in. Like, uh, DAO can revoke the right, that's straightforward fun, but it would take the time and it would take Aragon vote to do it. Uh, and we have uh, emergency uh, pause button, uh, which uh, is controlled both by the DAO contracts and dedicated multi-seek to stop easy track, which is a nice thing to have. We have alerts and a bunch of them and are working on making them more efficient, more specific, uh, and so on and so on and so on. And then on top of alerts, you should have someone to pay attention to and make sure your alerts uh, don't uh, overcrowd and don't, like, um, don't in uh, interact with uh, cat gifs all the time. So you have to leave uh, time for that. So basically, that's our current setup. Uh, and uh, then we are, we are working on wider and more tight safety net. Basically, uh, making more on-chain checks where we can do them. That's like mostly for budget things uh, and all this stuff here. Uh, we are working on uh, cross-chain, uh, like off-chain cross-checks and all this stuff. Uh, we um, 
do and like uh, prepare new motion types. So we are sure that funds, uh, like e even complex operations like cross chain ops or something, uh, can be carried on without funds attaching uh, multi sigs because that's where they're very risky. Uh, and we like budget uh, attention for DAO members. So basically, uh, we have like two contours of governance. Uh, in order to be successful, you want your DAO to be able to execute as fast as it needs to. We want it for like the DAO 100%. But uh, at the same time, we want to make sure that our main governance process is slow enough, is deliberate enough, and has enough time uh, to figure out big, par uh, big parts. In order to be able to do so, uh, to pull this off, we have to move um, operational stuff uh, outwards, uh, we have to move uh, like leverage easy track, leverage committees, uh, but we want to make sure that it works as intended, and we can like control it uh, to big degree in a big degree regularly. Uh, let's build together. Uh, I would love to hear your feedback, and I would love to hear your ideas. I would love to talk about uh, repurposing uh, the easy track setup we have right now for a governance Bravo or any other blockchain um, DAO frameworks, because it could be done so, uh, and uh, like we built it in a very modular way to be able to pull this off. But I would love to hear our community's feedback on this one. Thank you so much. We're going to open for questions. Gonna open for OK. Questions. Uh, any questions, folks? Uh, that's, that's now, I guess. Let's move out. Yeah. Thank you.